Uh, going back to something that, that AJ said, we're social creatures. So if we do sit quietly in a room by ourselves with no human contact, well, I know there are some of us who will be very happy about that. They're called introverts. Right? We, like, we're sitting there, we're trying to imagine, like, oh, what would be the best way to, you know, to not have human interaction? <clears throat> I, uh, I knew somebody who's an introvert who was talking about, about the joys if you were to murder somebody, and then you can go to prison, and then you can cause problems in prison, so they put you in solitary confinement. So you have to sit in solitary confinement for the rest of your life. And, he, and I just, I was like, dude, you have no human contact. He's like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, you, you know, you get like fed and you get like, like one hour of exercise a day and you get fed through a door and sometimes you won't even, you know, you won't even get books and stuff like that. He's just like, the smile kept getting bigger, you know, as, as I described it. So I'm like, all right, just make sure the clerk's dead, you know. And so some of us, though, can't stay quiet for just even a minute. And it's not just because we like to, it's not just because we're hyperactive, it's because we really like to have that kind of human interaction. One of the reasons, like, for example, uh, you, know, you guys get to choose your own seats, because I like to, it's interesting to see where people sit and to see kind of like, um, like who you sit next to. And then there would be some people who try to sit as far away from, from, from other things as possible. Like, so, for example, if there was a fire in this room, uh, there's another fire in that corner over there, and you couldn't get out of the room, where would you go? Yeah, far over there. Let's say that the fire was over there, where would you go? Yeah. So as far away from the danger as possible, right? I always wonder about people who try to sit as far away from the teacher as possible. What's the danger that we're running away from? What's the fire? <laughs> By the way, when I ask that question, nobody ever says, I would go towards the fire and put it out. <laughs> All of us are running as far away from the danger as possible. It's a special kind of person who says, I would run towards the danger. <laughs> Grab another human being and use them to put the fire out. <laughs> Sorry, dude, that's, that's all of our business. So I draw a distinction between these two things here. So we can mind our own business. Um, and people, and we'll, and we'll oftentimes conflate these two. We'll say we should stay out of, our own, of, of other people's lives and mind our own business. But there's also a positive aspect to this. In other words, this doesn't have to necessarily just mean like to, to not be involved in the business of others. This can also be a very direct command. Mind your own business. Okay, so I shouldn't get involved in others. No, 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 no. I'm saying actually actively mind your own business. What is your business? What's the business of being a person? Well, <clears throat> maybe this would include things like actually fulfill your responsibilities, whatever they are. Don't worry about other people not fulfilling theirs, or don't mind about other people fulfilling theirs. Who cares? Fulfill your own responsibilities first. And we all kind of know what those things are. I, I don't even have to pretend to tell you. You know what they are. Um, the last thing you need is another person coming along and telling you what they are. Inside, um, should you drink more water? Yeah, we know that we should drink more water. Um, should we eat more vegetables? No. Maybe. Depends if you're keto or not, right? Um, should you be spending more time studying? Should, and should you be spending more time exercising? Should you be spending more time on fill in the blank? And we already know that we should be doing these things. And there are very few people who actually do mind their own business in an active sense, meaning they actually mind it, they, 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 they put their time into it. Now imagine if um, what your life would be like if you drank enough water, ate properly, got enough rest, um, whatever, but also put your time into study. And it doesn't have to necessarily be the things that you learn here. It means that you should become an expert in something. An educated person is a person who knows something about everything, and then everything about something. In other words, specialize in some area, but know lots of stuff so that you can have conversations with people from all walks of life. So know something about everything and then know everything about something. And then imagine what your life would be like if you really did, for, for let's just say a month. Let's say you did all that stuff right for a month and you put all of your energies into it for just one month. <laughs> I'm going to ask you a silly question. Can you imagine what your life would be like? And it's a silly question because you couldn't possibly imagine what your life would be like because none of us have ever done that, probably. Boring. Like, what's that? Boring. Boring. Would it be? Because what's the thing that you'd be putting your life towards? That would be the key. What would you be putting your life towards? What's something that you love doing? Anybody in here an athlete? Right, so what sports? Baseball. Baseball. You're a good man. You're a good man right here. Yeah. You like it? I love it. Well, what's your favorite team? The only reason I went to college was to play team? this. What's that? What's your favorite team? The uh, favorite team I want. Dodgers. Professional. Oh, yeah. You're good. Dodgers? Thank you. What's your name, Mr. A student? <laughs> <laughs> Very good, man. Yeah, I'm from Los Angeles. I'm a Dodgers fan. 
Um, I played baseball in college. I played baseball at UCLA. In fact, the only reason I went to college was to play baseball. Um, I mentioned I graduated from high school with a 1.8 GPA. I shouldn't have, I, and I went to, so I didn't get picked up by any university. I had to go through a community college first, and then I went to a university. And the whole reason I went was because I wanted to play baseball. That was it. But can you imagine uh, what other sports do I see? Baseball, too. You're two good people. Football. Can you imagine what your life would be like if for one month you did proper rest, proper everything, and then you also put all of your efforts into becoming a better baseball player, a better football player? And I mean like you worked at it. You, know, you studied it. When you weren't doing it on the field, you're studying it. You're at home learning about it. You're practicing these things in your head, and you do all the things where like... Um, so our studies show that if you imagine yourself, you th if you think about yourself doing something, and you do it technically, meaning that... Um, like, uh, if you're playing baseball, for example, um, and you think about yourself swinging the bat, if you stop and you actually go through the technical things about what you're supposed to do to swing a bat, line your knuckles up, hands inside, stepping in, swinging, if you, if you imagine yourself doing all that, when you go onto the field, all of our studies indicate your performance is going to be 20% better than people who don't do that. You can't just imagine just like swinging a bat wildly and not going through the, you have to actually do the technical things. Your body actually learns this way. So imagine if you put all of your efforts towards that one thing, whatever it is. This is why when we say, like, oh, it'd be boring, if you're doing something boring, I imagine so. You know, if you're, if you're thinking about, man, um, I don't know, imagine if you put all of your time and energy into meditating. You know, just sitting quietly, making a sound once in a while. Now, there'll be some people in here, in here who'll be like, dude, you'd reach so much enlightenment if you meditated more <laughs> Fine. That's what you want. That's your thing. Whatever your thing is, I don't. I don't know what your thing is. It's gonna be different for you guys than it'll be for me. When I was in high school, when I was in college, it would have been baseball. That's what I would. Have, I would direct my. In fact, that's what I did do. Um, <clears throat> my greatest accomplishment in high school was that I ditched my math class 67 days one semester because we had class every day. We didn't have block mm -hmm. schedule days. Now, what did I do when I ditched my math class? My baseball team had a had a, had a batting cage down the field, so I would ditch math. Now go down and I would, I, would, I would take batting practice. So you put all of your time and energy into this one thing. I didn't just sit there. I didn't go to Cotijas. I didn't, you know, we didn't have cell phones back then. But if we did, who knows? Who knows? I might have been on Instagram the whole time. I don't know. You know, like we talk, we, we complain about that stuff all the time. You guys are always on your phones. You know, when I was your age, I wasn't on my phone. Why not? Probably one reason. Didn't have a phone. <laughs> so if I if I had a phone, I probably would have been. It's it's a weird thing for us to assume that we would have been so different from you. But no, if, if if my generation had phones, we probably would have been on our phones also. You know, so so it doesn't make any sense to complain about people who are doing these things because we would probably be doing the same thing. But my point is that if you put all of your time and all of your energy and all of your thoughts for just one month. Can you imagine what, what your performance in that area would be? And if you can, and, and I and I ask that again facetiously because we can't imagine. Because we've never done it. You can't imagine what level you could achieve. Now, if you did that for two months, six months, one year of your life, I mean, even if you just commit one year of your life to fulfilling all of your responsibilities, one thing is for sure, you wouldn't have a lot of time for this. You wouldn't have a lot of time for getting involved in other people's lives. But there's also an interesting paradox there. You would be one of those people who would be most qualified to intervene in other people's lives because you're already doing it right. Now that doesn't mean we should, because we shouldn't go around telling people how to live their lives, simply because it's their own life, and they can do as they please with it. It doesn't mean we have to not give advice, but a good rule for life is to only give advice that you ask for. If somebody asks you, hey, what do you think I should do? Well, I guess then you should share it. And if you do share advice, be honest about it. Tell the truth about it. There's almost nothing worse than when someone comes to you with a problem and and your answer, you, you, you listen to them, like, pour out their heart about what their problem is. And at the end, you've got nothing to say, so you say that one thing that most people say. Just do what makes you happy. <laughs> and then the person's like, oh, I love you so much. Really? Just do what makes you happy? What makes you happy? Does getting enough rest make you happy? Does eating properly make you happy? Does getting exercise make you happy? All of the things that make you better happen to not make you happy. Because let's face it, if they made you happy, you'd be doing those things already. We have to train ourselves to enjoy those things. It's just like um, in your stomach, so you, back, you know what gut bacteria is? You heard this, is the, there's a whole bunch of research on this stuff now. But essentially there's bacteria in your tummy 
Yes, I said tummy. And it, 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 when you eat certain foods, it now demands more of those foods. So if you eat lots of chips, the bacteria in your tummy says, more chips, more chips. And then you give it salad, it's like, Bleh! more chips. <laughs> so you, you feed it more chips, and then there's more bacteria, and that actually creates the, uh, the, the, um, the uh, not the desires, what am I thinking of? Um, what's that? The what? 